Fighting Game Theater. Welcome back, Warriors, to another episode of the Fighting Game Theater. And just like always, we are changing the format of today's episode, because unlike before, which was a review of the Toshin Den intro, and when we reviewed Fatal Fury, The Legend of the Hungry Wolf, today we're going to be dissecting and breaking down what makes the MK4 endings the greatest cinematic triumph of our age. And we're not going to be using the fancy schmancy non-canon PlayStation Dreamcast endings. No, no. Of course not. We're going to do the original artistic vision. So without further ado, uh, we're going to start. And I believe our first character is Kai. We're going to stop you right there. You know, we have to talk about this. So much drama unfolds on, on this cliff, on this precipice. Uh, and this this sky, I don't think it's ever used in any, any stage. Maybe way, way into the background or something. Uh, Raiden comes down, as he is known to do. It just he, he, He's got his thunder staff, lightning staff. I love how he appears. That's amazing! Look at this little, this cute little lightning bolt, and he's gonna talk to Kai about what what what, what his future possibly holds. You fought well, Kai. That's debatable. You are now a true Shaolin warrior. Thanks, Raiden, but I'm not interested in becoming a Shaolin warrior anymore. Whoa, dude, what's going on? Like, hey, I appreciate everyone's got shit going on in their life, Kai. 2020 is balls. I know. What will you do next? I don't know. Wander the earth? Search for my soul? That kind of thing. Well, perhaps you could use this on your journey. Your lightning staff? It holds the power of thunder and lightning. Yeah, I know that's what I just said. Plus, it holds the power of thunder and lightning. Now, lightning's certainly a thing. We can use that. We can, we can scare enemies away with the sound of thunder? How does that work exactly? Wield it wisely, for it can show you the way to immortality. You've earned it. So it's unclear whether what, what's going on here. Also, you see, like, he's barely looking at Raiden. Is, is I, why is Raiden shorter than him? If the camera was flipped, you'd probably see them not even really facing each other. That's, that's kind of fun. The MK team was going for something here. Thank you, Raiden. I will not fail. And they just kind of stare at each other as uh, Kai's neck just jiggles around. Good stuff. He's, I guess he's nervous. I don't know. And there you go. Kai was never heard from again and probably never will until MK Armageddon. Who do we have next? <laughs> so we're reusing this, uh, this sky texture again because fuck it. Uh, these, the, they're very frugal, the MK team with MK4. I think it was kind of a slightly rushed development. It was like jumping into a full 3D game two years after uh, MK, one year after Ultimate MK3, maybe a year and a half, and certainly one year after MK Trilogy, so uh, they have to make these endings too sweet, you know? Oh my god. That's Shinnok. That is just Shinnok's face. It has this little chapeau there. You can see a bit of it. This is an Elder God. The Elder Gods are used several times in, in these endings. Um, and this one's really, really silly because they're just there's in the sky, I guess. He's just a big bearded Shinnok man that's just hanging out in the clouds. But not before. Not all the shit you did before. Like, this is what... Uh, Raiden's been there since Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, he kind of skipped out on Mortal Kombat 3. But this is, like, uh, technically the third time. Maybe the fourth. Raiden's like, yeah, finally. I can be up there with you guys and not do shit. I'm sick of this. I have to deal with Johnny Cage every day? No thanks. You must choose your successor to protect your Earth. Uh, Fujin, Fujin, make it Fujin. I'm, I'm good. Let, let me up there. I choose Fujin. And you can tell Fujin somewhere just going, <gasps> What the? I just had a really bad feeling. Am I gonna have to handle the Earth Realm? I don't wanna. All right. So that's our first all right of, of these endings. I guess it was a Mortal Kombat team in joke. All right, appears several times. Might have been a Eurocom joke. I don't know exactly the origins. Kenny, let me know the origins of, all right. Um, and that's, that's Raiden's ending. 
You never see characters' faces full frontal because this game uh, lacks lip sync. Um, and or the camera will just rotate around, just keep spinning around two characters talking from a pretty far distance away. Cause I guess that's all they could do. It's it's a little rough here and there. For millions of years, I suffered in the bowels of the nether realm. <laughs> Shinnok's not even looking at him. They couldn't even tilt his head up. Shinnok has this stupid, weird little hat. Shinnok's powers and how he kills people vary wildly throughout these endings. I can't wait. I can already feel the power surging from within. Okay, so what did you do exactly? Shinnok's completely normal. He just beats a couple guys. What? What did he win? his own tournament how does how does that work exactly you're mad i love raiden's face here they actually took the time to have his head on a swivel it moves like that hey, okay hate you shinnok and i'm done talking so i'm gonna look away <laughs> farewell thunder god <laughs> So of course, Raiden, uh, very weak to lightning. He hates it, it disrupts his body, it feels icky. Uh, you know, that's what you want to kill Raiden with, lightning. <laughs> Many endings will uh, will conclude in this, this splurting fashion. Let's rewind a bit right here. Oh, oh, did you see it? Did you see it? Three explosions rock Raiden consistently and thoroughly here here and here you can see raiden's head is located at the topmost one you know that gray explosion you know most explosions are gray uh, here come additional explosions so there's six explosions overall uh, raiden's head is here in this frame now it is gone and it is now on this frame it is now bouncing toward us, splatterizing against the camera, so we can see the icky, icky god blood. I, I think what's going on here is that they're implying that his head went straight down, bounced off the floor, somehow came right against the cameraman. I, I don't know who the cameraman is in MK4, but he's always there for the action. And and that's the end of, of the Thunder God. That's... that's uh, what a shame. War is over. I've once again defended my title as champion of Mortal Kombat. Liu Kang is alone, talking to himself. Maybe he's praying to... I have failed to save the realm of Edenia. In doing so, I have... The door, I suppose. Also lost Katana. Forever. What? Katana? This is Tanya. Uh, this is just Tanya's character model. They just, because they didn't have time, I guess, to actually make her look like Katana, there's this light sphere that just hides Katana away. Yes, Liu Kang, it is I. But I thought you were gonna look- With the, the, the emotions that must be flooding Liu Kang's head here. He's trying to get out the words. He's trying really hard, but Katana interrupts him. It is I. But I thought you were gonna look- With Shina What is that light? Who wrote that? Steve Baron, did you write that? Why'd you write it like that? But you've also saved my own realm. Wow, how did Liu Kang think he destroyed that realm or failed to save it? What a complete, like, misinformation. Uh, who told him? Oh, yeah, Adenia fucking wiped clean from existence. It's probably Raiden. He loves to fuck up. I offer you the chance to rule at my side as King of Edenia forever. I cannot accept your offer. Why not? Why can't you just date a girl? Why why, why can't Liu Kang and Katana ever really be together? Something always gets in the way. It's sad. I belong here on Earth as champion of Mortal Kombat. Okay, so you are the champion of Mortal Kombat. Who won MK4 in canon? Does anyone know? I'm assuming it was Liu Kang. Then, I wish you good luck, Liu Kang, on all your journeys. And she just backs it up! Is it fat enough? She just gets in there, just moonwalks out of the scene. It's so weird. Well, she just wants to get some dick. And the, the, he probably wants to give it to her. But uh, I'm the champion Mortal Kombat, why is it like fucking Anakin and Padme? Why can't they just bone? Quan Chi, I have served our Lord Shinnok well in the destruction of Earth's warriors. The destruction, see, 
Reptile is a reptile, so of course he has extra enunciation on the S's. Sometimes there's three S's, sometimes there's just one. It, I guess it depends. He doesn't say warriors any differently, but he makes sure that like destruction's got to have it. Yes, we are most appreciative of your efforts. Here's more spinning. It's our technique, and that that's the one we know how to do easily. It is a simple request for one of such great powers. So Reptile is doing his best here, right? He's he's. This is the second time he is now called out, and he's like, "Oh, you really, really?" So he has to, you know, plead his case. I demand it. If it were not for lawyers, that's how you argue, folks. You just kind of jut your chest out, and that's about it. You just kind of wiggle around and people know you're serious. Sometimes you gotta. You know, they've been treating Reptile like shit for years and he's had enough. Perhaps you can convey your feelings to Shinnok himself. Huh? What? In <laughs> Why would you frame it like this? Who's the cinematographer here? Here's our hero, Reptile, and then BAM! I'm blocking your view! The sound happens before Schnock's even in the scene! What? There's no effect? It just it pops into reality. He's a fucking elder guy. Just have some panache when you make an entrance. Infidel! You are in no position to demand anything. I could kill you with a mere thought. <laughs> and it's just, if you're looking at this, you don't know what you're looking at, what the fuck would you say Shinnok even is? It's just a mass of polygons. You can't even discern a character model. Again, we're probably been pretty appropriate to shoot this in any different way than how you did it. We had a deal. A deal? I am not a god of my word, reptile. All deals are off. <laughs> so, again, MK4 nerds, Kenny, what is the color of reptile's blood? Huh? It's never consistent. There's Reptile's head, just with no expression, of course. It'd be so awesome if they could have done dumb, like, Street Fighter 4 style, like, Whoa! Uh, Shinnok's method of execution here is, is very inconsistent. Before he shot lightning, you know, again, uh, Raiden's weakness, but here, just blows up Reptile, just by holding him, which is cool, I guess, but it's, it's, we still have some other ways to go. Amazing. We are going into the J. Earl Tolkien saga. Three different endings, three different outcomes. This is the intertwining uh, legacy of Sonya Blade, Jarek, he doesn't have a last name, he's like Cher, and Major Jackson Briggs. And this is the ultimate in cost uh, saving uh, features, because. I, this this particular like I wasn't kidding this particular uh, field of battle this this precipice of destiny is used four times in these endings God gotta make every pixel and polygon count Shinnok is dead the good guys won you're coming back with me never Sonya I agreed to help defeat Shinnok what is this B bitch you've been beating some tough Motherfuckers, throughout your adventures, Jarek starts advancing on you and you just start backing it up? Just kick his ass, break his neck, do anything. The Black Dragon, live on! Man, anytime anything happens to me, I want this sound effect to happen. You know, I wake up in the morning, I look down at my shorts, I'm... That's what happens. The Black Dragon died with Kano. You're the last one, Jared. Did Kano die? Because he fucking didn't. He comes back in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Maybe if he faked his own death. Never! Okay, Martin Scorsese eat my entire asshole. You can't get anything even approaching uh, this, this type of cinema, right? Also, there's a couple of things about this. First of all, Sonya starts moving before Jarek even considers running at her. Look, she's already going in a ready stance. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So she's getting moving. Jarek's still stationary, stationary. That's like at least nine frames. And I believe he screams to his death well before he even falls off the cliff. Let's rewind just a bit more. Last one, Jarek. Never! He does. 
Yeah, Jarek's dead. He's never coming back at all. So that's actually the least interesting ending of the three. It's rewind time. Blah, 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 blah. We, we've seen it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Jarek's Come dead. Come in, Major Briggs. She confirmed this is Lieutenant the kill. Tanya Blade. It's Over. Oh, no! How? How is this possible? How in any storyboarding meaning did, did they say that this is okay? This works. He just pops up. He just went. Beep, beep. There he is. Come in, Major Briggs. This is Lieutenant. She says over after she goes, what? Ah, so the sounds are all fucked up. Oh my God. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. Give me more. Lieutenant Sonia Blade, what? over. Ah! So, I, a few things about this. Love this texture, by the way. Just a massive green. Uh, the radio exists in real 3D space for, you know, a couple seconds that it's on screen, and then it's just gone. It is just deleted from the Digiverse. <laughs> Going somewhere, Jared? So, <laughs> let's think about this. A, how does Jarek not see Jack's coming? There's a lot of room. Yeah, how, how do you not see Jax? A man with metal arms not coming at you. He walks into the throat grab. Hey, yo, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> two. That's not even all the two. Why did Jax need to be on the radio with Sonya when he was literally 10 feet away? What was that? You have to arrest me! Wait, wait! This is brutality! You can't do Wrong, it! Wrong, Jarek! This is not a brutality! This is a fatality! Oh, give it give the MK team an Oscar right there! How? That did Quinn Tarantino write that line? It was so clever! It's just amazing! I think this is the thing that MK4 is remembered for the most, just that fucking line. Ah, oh, Chef's Kiss. Hey. Oh, I know. Reiko. The the dramatics that unfold here. He just stomps off all pissed off. And he's just walking into into the actual wall at that point. You know that, right? And that's that. Uh, I'm not using those non-canon uh, PlayStation endings. But of course, there's a little bit more to Reiko's ending. But like, <laughs> the original arcade version, that was it. Wow! I don't know what to say! I hey, wait a minute! So why are we on Johnny Cage, he's Johnny Cage. You know he's a little bit stuck up. So when he asks for real competition, the crowd boos him. What is the, it's it's not like there's like these uh, other things about Johnny Cage that the crowd knows. They're cheering up to him for this point. Arnold Schwarzenegger is canon in MK4. He exists. That's true. Other than that, not not much to say about about old Johnny Cage there. It's over, Jarek. Okay, what happens here in this? What I don't know. Is it absolutely hey, nothing? <laughs> like, are these endings of Sir's Wrath? Do they just you just have to pay more to get more of the ending? What about the others? He has something special planned for them. There's, okay, this, the, the sound effect of both pairs of feet running, the fact that the camera actually gets a little bit more dynamic here is interesting. How, Liu Kang, how, where did she go? She's probably behind you, dude. Tanya, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, idiot, she was there. I don't know what Katana saw in you. Can't you see, Liu Kang? This is a trap. What? Welcome. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Why? Why is he? Why is he got to be floating there? Just, just, just stay on the ground, Shinnok. Never, sorcerer. <laughs> oh God! There's so much. There's so much in that eight seconds. Never, sorcerer. Never, sorcerer. <laughs> Sound effect is still going off long after uh, Liu Kang has been exploded. No blood this time. 
So he just makes contact with Liu Kang's foot, I guess. He explodes, no blood. I also love the way Liu Kang just pivots, goes into the flying kick thing. His animation cell is just flipped. It's like, oh, it's so special. And just with the quickness, you know, Shinnok has an insult. <laughs> And they're just staring at nothing. Again, mwah. So these are also Elder Gods, and I think it's just Shinnok's texture map of his face uh, just stretched out there. And so Fujin's talking to them here. You can also hear that Fujin's uh, voice is very similar to many other voices because all the voices were done like two or by two or three people. I'm sure Ed Boon must have been among them. Very well, Thunder God. I will not fail you. That is why I picked you. It just leaves a, a message on his voicemail. Why didn't you say that while, while you're in the scene? Uh, yeah, not much to say about Fujins, but you see how those endings are almost interconnected as well, like Raiden's and Fujins. It's just, just kind of interesting, but, you know, not really. Battle is finished. Your quest for vengeance is over, Scorpion. You cannot kill a dead man. You have defeated my physical... If anyone ever defeats me, I want to be on the ground just shaking my fist. Just, no, get real, real salty. I also love how Scorpion's not even looking at Sub-Zero. Uh, their sight lines do not match at all, which is just all types of special. Also nice to see that uh, Scorpion has a thong going up his asshole there. It's very, very interesting. My soul is eternal. You will pay for the massacre of my clan. Wait, look. Sub-Zero just said, ouch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now we go back to our old cinematic trick of spinning. Pray for your crimes and justice will be stop. 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 You and Scorpion were pawns for Shinnok. Scorpion. So this is very, very weird. First of all, Sub-Zero is the one that yells Scorpion. That's what the voice sounds like. It doesn't sound like Quan Chi. And Scorpion just decides to get up. This is the time. Now, uh, now I can. Scorpion! So, of course, Scorpion, well known for his green force balls. What is this power? He can just kill on command. Why not make him die in flames like Scorpion would? But he levitates um, and, and you know, uh, Quan Chi does his, his little swimming routine in the air. Tons of blood again. I'm very inconsistent with these deaths. Well, Lin Kuei warrior. All right. A second, all right. I love it. Uh, I think we have about two more endings left to go, and I can't hardly wait. I grant you the gift of your existence. My existence? To be fair, he's getting a, he's getting so fucked on this. Quan Chi risked it all, and he gets to live. Come on. I do more than question you, Shinnok. I challenge you. What? That's a really bad idea. And you shall die. See, now we have used uh, Shinnok's other third power, a pink energy ball. You know, usually he can just grab people and just make them explode, but he went with the pink energy ball that, that's usually a Sonya thing. So very, very bold strategy here. Let's see if it works out for him here, Cotton. What? You Not me? I'm in possession of your one sacred amulet. Years ago, I delivered to you an exact duplicate. Wouldn't Shinnok know that he had a knockoff? Wouldn't he kind of like, oh yeah, this, this is really, it feels really similar to my amulet, but um, I'm sure it works. It, it, we never tested it. What did it actually do? Isn't it just as powerful as the original one? Let me know in the comments. Again, I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about here. And you, Elder God, are fine. Uh, Quan Chi really, really came out on top there. Uh, but now, of course, is the piece de resistance. Your soul will never rest, Scorpion. Again, if I ever get defeated, make sure that I'm on the ground just kind of waving. Fight. Just waving back and forth like that. That's good stuff. And also, I want to make sure that my guy, 
<laughs> My adversary is again looking somewhere completely else. Your family's true killer still remains free. If you are not the murderer, then who is? I am the one you seek. Every everyone just pops in. To, to pops into frame. They're like a like a stagehand just shoves the character. You get in there, get into Goro's lair, I guess, for some reason. He's he's a boss in this one. I really feel if the MK team had more time with this game, especially these endings would have been a little little bit better, uh, make a little bit more sense than the not sense that they make. You've done my being well, Scorpion, but now I must return you to the Netherrealm. So Quan Chi, of course, institutes the slowest portal ever. People open up portals in this bitch all the time. It's super, super easy. Anyone can do it. And uh, Scorpion's model is just fading in and out of these of these sparkles. Um, let's see what he does with this. Never. So the portal's still active on him somehow. Is able to break free from his grasp. Almost, almost breaks free right there. You know, his model's disappearing in and out. I like that. Uh, where is he going to bring him? <laughs> uh, Scorpions, yeah, I did it. Yeah, that was me. Super proud of it. Again, I don't think this stage appears in MK4 Vanilla. So this is just a JPEG, like a screenshot of the stage from Ultimate MK3. This is the only time this stage appears in these endings. Unless, again, this is in... I, I think this might be an MK4 Gold, but that's way after this game. That's like two years after this game, I think. At least one year. So that's amazing that they brought this, this JPEG in just for this ending. And of course, we, we are left with the iconic... <laughs> Ah, so good. Oh, jeez. I, I, I love these endings. And that is it for Mortal Kombat 4. I would certainly love to do more of this type of thing in the future. Uh, let me know in the comments what, what you'd like to see on Fighting Game Theater because this is kind of very open season for, th for this series. I just love talking about like fighting game shit in general when it comes to stories, presentation, endings, intros, adaptations into anime. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, uh, for future episodes as well. You can go over to the Flophouse VIP Patreon and let me know what you'd like to see there.